Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing my first ever um, Sephora haul, and I did buy this during the friends and family sale, which I'm sure you all heard about. So first I just want to show you the ridiculous box that it came in. Okay, this thing is huge. It's like crammed full of paper. Like, this thing is huge. Um, I guess on the upside of that, well, I mean, I'm guessing that the big box was probably just because they had a lot of orders and ran out of smaller boxes, but I came home and I was looking all over the house for it because it had said um, that it had been delivered, but I didn't see it on the porch, so I figured someone else brought it inside already. So I was looking all over and I was like, where's my box? It has to be here. And then finally I thought to check the giant box by the front door that was, you know, too big to possibly contain makeup. So um, first the samples that I got, I ordered um, a sample of... Well, I ordered one sample of Urban Decay. There's like this um, primer potion and eyeshadow, I think. I think that's what this is. Sample of primer potion and then an eyeshadow. And then um, this sample of some Sephora eyeshadow quad. And these are pretty much just single use, I think. And then I also ordered a sample of um, the YSL Touche Clot thing. I'm not sure how you say that, but sure you all know what I'm talking about, but they just sent another one of the Urban Decay things. I'm guessing that it was a popular sample and they ran out. So the uh, things that I actually bought, I bought four things, but they're, yeah, I think they're all like palettes or combinations. So the first one is the Stila Artist Impression Palette, and wait, okay, I'm confused now. Oh, I get it. <laughs> so. Um, it looks like this. I was just reading on the back. It says five eyeshadows and one cheek color. So I just thought that these were all eyeshadows. This one is actually a cheek color or blush. And part of the reason that I got this was this right here is Kitten. And I'm not sure how it compares to the full size, but this whole palette was only $15. And then with the sale, it was... I don't remember exactly, but it was 20% off of 15, so I think that would be like $3 off. So it was like $12 um, with the sale. So yeah, really pretty color. I'm sure you've all seen that. I also really like this color in the bottom in the middle here. It's called Dapple. It's like this smoky lavender color. It's so pretty. And then, yeah, there's also like a green, a matte black, and this brown. But I haven't really used this, so I'll try to have a review up eventually, but yeah, I haven't really used that. also from Stila, I got the Make an Impression in Moscow um, travel palette thing. This one says travel palette number four. Pinky Charm has talked a lot about these, and the first two that came out were like pinks and berry colors, and I just don't like wearing those colors on my eyes. But this one is really, really pretty. I'll take out this little plasticky thing. So it has the convertible lip and cheek color, and then um, it does have this that's a little bit pinkish, but it also has like this nude color, blue, and like a brown. So it's really, really nice. I can't wait to use this, and I think this will be really nice. This was $10, so it was like $8 with the sale, and they do have a bunch of other ones. I almost got the trend setting in Tokyo one. Like, I was going to order that one, and... For some reason, I didn't place my order that night, and then I went on the next night, and they had this, and I was like, oh, yay, I have to get that one, because I had, like, Pinky Charm had talked about this one, but then when I went to check the Sephora website, it wasn't there, and yeah, then when I went back the next day, it was, so I'm really hoping that I like this. Okay, then oh. I think that this was $10, so $8 on sale, even though the tag here says that it's supposed to be $26, i am pretty sure it was, I mean, I know it was on sale, pretty sure it was $10, and it comes with five things, so let me dump them all out here. So first it comes with this gold glitter body and hairspray, which I'm not really planning on using. I think that um this was like a bubble wrap sticking to it, a like Halloween set for doing like a peacock look, so obviously I don't plan on doing it for that, but I wanted the eyeshadow and the lip gloss and, you know, for eight dollars for both of them, plus this other stuff, so there's this, and then there are these Sephora individual eyelashes, and I think it says eyelash glue, yeah, plus a little eyelash glue. I don't really use false eyelashes, but I've been wanting to try individual lashes, so uh, might as well. And then one of their nano liners, and this one is in Lagoon. But if you look on the package, 
Like, I guess Lagoon sort of implies blue, but if you look on the package, like, the end of that liner does not at all look like this. So, um, I don't really like to wear blues on my eyes, but again, I was buying this mostly for the lip gloss and eyeshadow. So this lip gloss is in Sugar Coat. It's just one of the Sephora lip glosses, and it's like this nice sort of, I don't know, dusty rose color. Really pretty. I swatched it on my hand earlier. And then this uh, Sephora Colorful Palette in Schizo, and it's like these really nice um, greens and purples. And these two colors, especially like the light purple and light green, they're sort of like the colors out of that um, e.l.f. eye transformer palette that is like the, I don't actually remember if it's the eye transformer or the shimmer palette, but one of them, I think it's the eye transformer, that has like the iridescent shadows in it, it reminds me of that, and yeah, I really like this. Then this last product is what made me place this order. Um, I was watching a video by Fashion Is My Crush, I think that's her username, and um, she talked about this product and that just like settled it for me, like I had been looking at it, I had wanted it, and then when I saw her uh, review on it I was just like, okay, that settles it, I'm getting it, it's 25% or 20% off. So actually, this was $34 when I bought it, so with the 20% off it was $27. Now it's only 25 on the website, but still, like, overall, the amount of money that I saved total on the sale made it worth it. But it is this, uh, I actually forgot what it's called, <laughs> Sephora Color Diary. And so, I haven't opened this yet, so actually, okay, this has, like, stickers on it. Um, basically, the idea of this palette is that you have, like, five different little palettes with eyeshadows, blush, and a lip gloss. And then you can switch them out in this, um, okay, so you have this whole thing, it's like this whole case right here, and then it opens up, maybe, maybe, okay, so then it opens up, and you have the five palettes, oh, well, first you have a protective plastic sheet, then you have, like, the five palettes, and um, these don't really have any, like there's no covering on them. If you want to swap them out, you have to put them in this thing and this, let's see. Okay, this, this looks hard. Um, what is going, oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really not doing so well here. Okay, so there are holes on the back that you can like pop out the palette with. So, like, that just pops out like that, and then you can just stick it in here, I guess, maybe. Okay, so you can just stick that in there, and then it just goes like that, and I don't know, this sort of, I like the idea, but this part here, it's open, so I'm not really sure how, like, sanitary or, you know, if your eyeshadows are going to, like, crumble out. I don't know, but I don't really travel much, so all of these things I got, like, travel palettes, but, um, I don't really travel, I don't really take my makeup traveling, so it's fine, whatever. Um, so, there is this one, which is, let me find the box again, this one is called Day at the Museum, and it's this, like, just sort of primary colors, and then white and black, and, like, a brown, and it just comes with a clear gloss, and this, like, peachy nude blush. Then we have Hot Date at 8, which is, like, blacks and silvers and browns, and then also, like, a nude and a white, and this has, like, a pink uh, shimmery blush and this deep um, fuchsia lip gloss, and I haven't really swatched any of these yet. I plan to do a review on these coming up soon, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of show you them right now. This one is Relax and Unplug, and this one looks so gorgeous. It's, like... I don't know, it's like earthy mauves and purples, and there's kind of like a grayish purple here, and like a gray up here. This one's matte, I think. Yeah, this one's pretty matte. Um, yeah, this one looks so pretty. And this one is Must Get New Shoes, and it's like sort of deep, um, like a fuchsia blue and a purple, and then I believe these over here are matte versions, so you have like a matte burgundy, matte navy blue, and then... Um, this one is actually like a matte black rather than purple, and then you just have sort of, all the blushes, um, 
are pretty similar. Well, okay, like the blushes on three of the palettes are similar, and then the blushes on the other two palettes are similar. So yeah, and then this like fuchsia lipstick, but from what I remember of um, Fashion Is My Crush's video, it doesn't show up that bright. It just sort of like, like a, it's a bright pink, but it's not really a hot pink. And then the last palette is a Meditation Retreat, and it's, I think, my favorite. I just really like greens, and so it has, like, three green colors. There's this green, this green, and, like, a um, deep matte green, and then, like, a bronzy orange, a nude, and a brown, and then this deep coral blush and a nice, like, nude brown lip gloss. So yeah, if you get this palette, I would recommend not throwing away this little plastic protective thing because it'll, I think, probably just help uh, keep your stuff a little bit cleaner. But that is this. I'm really excited for this. And now I'm going to show you guys a couple of other things that actually are freakishly similar. So today I went to Walgreens and I found the Wet n Wild Holiday Palette. And I was also inspired to buy these by Fashion Is My Crush. Um, and so yeah, there are four new limited edition palettes, and I think that I actually like these. Now, I haven't taken them out and swatched them yet. I, again, will have a review up on these, but um, they come with an eye, like, it's just one of the typical color icon palettes, only the, like, the, the colors are limited edition, and then it comes with a free eyeliner, but, I mean, this thing is, like, tiny and cheap. So, there is... Let's see if they have names. Okay, so the names are written like on this snowflake thing. So this one is the Golden Goddess thing. And then this one is the Night Elf. Wait. Sorry. It looked broken. This one is Night Elf. And then this one is Sugar Plum Fairy. And it's like purples. And this one looks really pretty. And then Snow Sprite. And... This one looks like, the, the greens in this one look, well, the blues look pretty too, but I don't use blues as much. The greens in this one look really pretty. Can't wait to try these. Um, I will definitely review them, but if you think that you might be interested in these, actually, let me just swatch a couple of them right now so that I can tell you in general how pigmented they are, because my Walgreens was almost sold out, and so yeah, I would suggest if you think you might want these to try to pick them up as soon as possible. So, okay, so these are some of the colors from this, I think this was Snow Sprite palette, super pigmented, and let's try them on my hand. Okay, these are amazing. I really, really like these. Um, I've decided after using them once to swatch on my hand, but I do think that these are, let's just swatch the eye, or the eyeliner too. Uh, let's see here. Okay, the eyeliner is actually kind of crumbly, it's right there, but... Um, I would definitely recommend at least this palette. Let's just swatch another one. I'm going to swatch the purple one. And yeah, so if you're interested, definitely, ah, dropping things, definitely uh, check them out. So, so that's uh, the purple ones on my fingers. And they're just, you know, they're purples, not like bright greens and blues. So they're going to be a little bit less um, bright. These aren't as pigmented, but again, these are not over a base. So I think if you used a base, these would be really, really good. I would definitely recommend these. They're only $5. Well, I guess that's the price of, like, the other ones. The purple eyeliner on this one is actually pretty good. I don't really use eyeliner, but um, it was pretty soft and creamy. So, yeah, I would definitely suggest checking these out. I will try to have a review up soon, but, um, you know, no guarantees as to how long your Walgreens is going to have them in stock because, at least when I went, there were only two of each color, and they're sort of, like, hidden. Um, when I went, they were, like, way back away in some aisle display on the corner of an aisle or something. They weren't with either most of the holiday stuff or the wet and wild stuff, so look around a little bit. Um, don't just give up if you don't see it right away, because it might be there, but I would suggest hurrying. So this has been my Sephora slash Wet n Wild haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.